Winter in Kentucky, freezing in the morning and thawing after sunrise. This means our trail surfaces are just like peanut butter. Today it's nice outside, but our trails remain closed, so it's a good time to do some maintenance. I'm going to show you how to do a lower leg service, including changing out the wiper seals on a Fox 36 performance fork. Lower leg service is easy and only a few tools are necessary. In the video description, I left affiliate links to the items you'll need in order to complete this task. While technically this can be done with the fork on the bike, it will be much better with the fork removed. And please note that the fork removal and reinstall will not be covered in this video. With the fork removed, release all of the air from the air spring. If you have a valve core removal tool, you can remove the entire core to ensure there is no built up air inside the air chamber. On the damper side, remove the rebound knob cover and put it aside. Using an Allen key, loosen the set screw in the red rebound knob. The set screw doesn't need to be completely removed, only loosened enough to pull the rebound knob off. This is a good time to thoroughly clean the entire outside of the fork using isopropyl alcohol and lint-free towels. After cleaning, loosen the 10 millimeter air side and the 15 millimeter damper side nuts. On the air side, this is where I ran into an issue. The 15 millimeter damper nut came off easily, but the air spring was spinning along with the 10 millimeter nut as I tried to remove it. My solution? I put about 20 PSI back into the air chamber and tried using the ratchet again. This didn't work. So with 20 PSI still in the air spring, I used a cordless drill with a 10 millimeter socket and perfection. The nut came right off. The fork lower shouldn't have any pressurized air, so in theory, this should be a safe practice. However, proceed with caution if you have to add air to the spring like I did. Now with a bucket or a catch pan ready, thread the nuts you just removed back onto the fork, but only loosely, like around three or four threads. Use the 10 millimeter socket on the air side and place over the nut while holding the socket with your fingers. Use a hammer and strike the socket to free the air spring from the bottom of the lower. Repeat this process on the damper side using the 15 millimeter socket. Remove the nuts and over a bucket, slide the fork lowers down and allow the oil to drain. As you can see, I pulled the lowers off completely. My intent was to only pull them down far enough to first drain the oil for a while. Not a big deal, but something to be mindful of when you do this. After draining the oil, Remove the lowers completely, taking care not to damage or scar the air spring and the damper rods. Use alcohol to thoroughly clean every inch of the fork, including the insides of the lowers. Once clean and dry, you can remove and replace the wiper seals. I don't have any specialty tools to remove the seals, so I used a large open-ended wrench. A good automotive trim tool or a long screwdriver would work as well. Remove the old foam rings and give the area a good cleaning with alcohol and towels. Soak the new foam rings in 20 weight fork oil for a while before installing. Installation of the seals is made easier with the seal driver tool. Place the new seal over the seal driver tool and slide the tool into the fork lower. Use a hammer, tap the seals into place. Once installed, reinstall each seal's spring. Now you can install the new foam rings that have been soaking in the fork oil. Apply some seal grease to each of the new seals. I try to be somewhat liberal with the amount of grease I use, but I don't go overboard and glob it in there. Finally, it's time to put the lowers back on. 
be patient as sliding them back on can be a little tedious with new seals. This part can be a little irritating, but don't give up hope. They will eventually slide on. Slide the lowers up now, but not quite all the way. The holes in the bottom of the lowers is where you're going to inject fresh oil. Now it's time to add the fork oil. Like many of you, I have an OEM fork Fox Performance, obviously that I'm doing this service on. But my fork says fit grip. And when I look at ridefox.com, which you should too if you're servicing your fork so you know your oil uh, requirements, oil weight requirements, and your oil capacities, fit grip isn't listed. So I had to do some digging to find out what oil it took. And uh, there is nothing definitive as far as officially from Fox. However, if you look at the very top cap on the fit grip fork, you'll see that it says grip damper. So at the end of the day, what you need to know as far as, as, far as oil capacities and weight requirements, follow the requirements on Ride Fox for the grip damper and the grip two damper. And that requires five weight PTFE infused fork oil. I don't know why Fox puts a damper in a fork and does not specifically line it out in their charts. Uh, it would make it so much clearer and easier for us, but they don't, so I've serviced the fork on my bike twice now, once before a Moab trip earlier last year, and then again now. And I can tell you that the five weight does not cause any issue. It is the right oil for a grip fork, if, or for a grip two damper, or a fit grip damper in this case. Hope that clears it up. I use a syringe and add 10 cc's of Fox 20 weight gold oil into the air side bath of the lower. On the damper side bath, I add 40 cc's of Fox 5 weight PTFE infused oil. Now slide the lowers all the way up, also being sure to replace the old crush washers that should come in the new seal kit. Now just tighten the nuts down. And well done, you've just performed a lower leg service. Put air back into the air spring, install the fork back on the bike, and head out for a ride. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell icon and you'll be notified the moment I've uploaded a new video. Thanks for watching.